2019 was a year of a lot of investment in spacecraft and clearly a very big spacecraft success launch with GX-5 in December. 2020 is really the year of ground stations. Uh, this year we will deploy and bring into service more ground stations than we've ever done in our history as it first sat in one single year. Among those stations, of course, is Burham. It's one of our critical locations for the company as a whole. Well, this is uh, the pedestal of the antenna, which will carry a 9-meter KA band antenna, which is actually for the Burham premises a new, uh, new technique. Uh, what took a long time is actually the construction phase. I had to have it connected to the equipment room, which is in that building there behind you. And this will be connected within the coming four months together with the electronic stuff which will be in place here. MRSAT CTO and COO work together seamlessly in the ground station networks. Uh, the CTO is responsible for designing them, but works hand in hand with COO because they're going to be the ones who have to maintain and operate these for the next decade to two decades plus. Uh, we actually have teams that are integrated between the two organizations from start to finish as we deliver these new capabilities. The, um, the antenna has been lifted and mounted on the pedestal. They have drilled holes, which will be the IFL route. So cables, coax cables from the antenna through this IFL ducts into the equipment room. The actual bandwidth that goes through Burham will increase by two orders of magnitude as a result of this uh, improvement. We've got some of the best uh, ground station engineers on the planet working for us here at Inmarsat. And uh, the great thing is we always have a constant and a new challenge for them to work on. This year, 2020, is definitely their year. Uh, we're going to be delivering ground stations like we've never done before.